And what's your thoughts on new lads being expanded? I think it's totally wrong. 12.50 a day isn't going to change anything. Um, it's, not the, it's not people who can afford cars or vehicles or whatever. It's people that are struggling that, and it's just going to make people struggle even worse. And little businesses around here and that, well, we all know that they're going to, people just can't afford it. And it's, it's always the people at the bottom that are, always, that are going to struggle. So, You're a tradesman. What's it like for other tradesmen in the business? It's hard, it is. Yeah, I mean, it, that's it. It's just it's getting harder. It's getting harder on the people, working class people that struggle every day. So, What's your message to the mayor? Uh, I can't say it on camera. You can. I, he, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's an absolute sod. I hate him. He needs to, we need to get him out. That's it. Gary, what's your thoughts on new legs being expanded? I think it's disgusting. It really is. Like they're, they're talking about pollution, like in this area, when I've had planes flying over my head for 57 years. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just a total joke. And like I say, most of the vehicles that they're saying, because it's coming up on the telly, all cars over 16 years old, it's rubbish. It's about the emissions that come out of the car, not the age of the vehicle. But like I say, like my, my mate's mum, she's got to get rid of her car, £2,000 crappy scheme, what is she going to buy with £2,000? You can't buy a car that's compliable with the £2,000, so it's going to put people in debt. I've got an old boy who lives up the road from me, he's getting a new car, but he's not ready. He can't go shopping now. This works van, you less compliant, but you've got a car that isn't you less compliant. I have to drive to work. Like I said, if I was to drive to work in my car, it takes me 30 minutes. If I was to use public transport, two hours, 37 minutes, which one would you do? But then you've got to pay that £12.50. Yeah. Or I can cycle it, it'll take me about half a day to work. Nick, what do you think about ULES being widened out today? Well, I'm not very happy with it. I'm not happy the way it's been done. Look, I'm all good and I'm, I'm for the clean air concept that everybody wants, you know, that's talking about around the world and the whole thing. Yeah, we're all good for that. But I don't think this is about the clean air issue. I think this is more about a money grab. Uh, it's all okay for me to pay 12.50 and go and pollute the air. But if they really wanted to have cleaner air, they'd have the cars off the road. Not tell us, yeah, go and drive and then just pay £12.50. So I'm totally against that, yeah. What's your thoughts on the mayor? Well, I wish I could vote tomorrow. So I'm going to have to wait till the next election, the next mayor election, because I, I wouldn't vote him in again. What's your thoughts on ULES expanding? Um, terrible. Yeah, my, my son just lives inside this area. He has to go out to Denham. Um, then he's got another job in the afternoon, and it's going to cost him something like £75 a week to do that. So he works six days a week. And he's a mile from the area. And to get to go there by bus, it's going to take him two, two buses, and a half a mile walk when he gets there, and a quarter of a mile walk to a bus. Anyway, so it's going to put another two hours on his day, whereas it takes about 15, 20 minutes to get to work. What's your message to the mayor? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. He's only got to March or May, hasn't he? So hopefully he's gone then. What's your thoughts about ULES being expanded? I think it's wrong, because the thing is, my sister, she drives first of all they're telling us go petrol from petrol we went to diesel because they said diesel is better for the environment now they're saying get rid of all the diesel cars and go to petrol i mean we've had to do i mean we're only working part time so we, we bought a diesel car for two thousand pounds now we've had to get rid of that we only got 200 pounds for it and now they're turning around and saying go to petrol because you know otherwise it's going to cost you £12.50 a day and everything so we had to scrap our car go out get another car which was we were finding it quite hard because we only had a limited amount of money and we finally found one for £3,000 so I had to use my savings to get so I could pay for her to get another car it's just Ridiculous. Do you think it's fair? No, it's not. No, I don't think it is. You know, I just think it's. I think he should be shot, and that's it. <laughs> you know, get rid of him once and for all. That's Sadiq. Just say that again, but Sadiq. say Sadiq. Sadiq Khan. Yeah, yeah. He should just be got rid of and just you know get someone else in.
I don't know who, could be you <laughs> or anyone, but just get somebody else in because the way it's going is just ridiculous. What's your thoughts about you lesbian being expanded? Yeah, no, I just think it's come at the wrong time. Um, it's understandable what they're saying, why they're doing it, but at a time where there's a cost of living, this is something that they can avoid. Um, it doesn't affect me personally, I've got a ULIS compliant vehicle, but I know there are people that are going to be struggling. Um, so I just think the mayor's being inconsiderate in that sense. It's not easy to get your vehicle changed. Now with ULIS coming in, cars that are ULIS compliant have increased in price. So it's just it's a lot more difficult for people to actually transition. So I think they should just delay it two, three years, implement it later when everything starts to go back to normality um, and inflation goes down and, you know, people aren't struggling with keeping their jobs and things like that. If Sadiq Khan was listening, what would you say to him right now? I'll tell him, mate, fix up. It's, like, it's not right. What he's doing, he's being inconsiderate. He needs to start thinking about people who are actually struggling. Um, but yeah, like me personally, I've always voted Labour and I've always wanted a Labour mayor, always wanted a Labour government, but I'm actually considering not voting for Sadiq Khan. The pollution rate, there's more pollution when you go down to the tube station down there. There's more pollution on the London Underground than there is in the streets of London. He just needs to, he just needs to do one. He really does. They need to get, they should have got rid of him before this actually come in and then maybe it would have been stopped. Because, like you say, they're saying that one in ten cars complies. Well, the AA's already proved there's 650,000 vehicles that don't comply. So that's 650,000 people who've got to pay £12.50 a day. Three grand a year. Just to use their vehicle because they can't afford to buy another one. What's your thoughts on new layers being expanded? Ridiculous. Really, really, I'm really angry about it. Um, I think it's going to affect a lot of people, a lot of business people who struggle anyway um, and their vehicles have got to be changed and it's just, I don't see why to be honest. I know the Mayor of London says it's for our lungs but look at the tube in London, has he cleaned that up? No. <laughs> have you got a ULES compliant vehicle? We've got just got rid of one. Yeah, we had um, a Range Rover that we were told we got to get diesel. So we got diesel and now it's not compliant. So that's gone. We had to sell that. So um, my one I've got now is OK. So I haven't got to pay to go out at the moment. But that's why my husband got rid of his because uh, he didn't want to have to pay. Um, so I'm pretty neutral on it, um, given that it doesn't personally impact me. Um, I have a new enough car that I, w I won't be impacted by the charges, um, but also, yeah, so, so because of that, I'm not personally for or against it, but also I haven't done enough research into what the impact of it is. I recognise it brings benefit for the environment and equally it brings benefit for the government um, at a time when they're looking to stabilise the economy but I don't really know how much of a positive impact it's having. I haven't looked into it. Um, but also, I know that it's having a negative impact for many people who aren't financially um, doing a, in a position like I am where they're not impacted by it. So because of that, equally, I don't know how much of a negative impact it's having, so I can't take a stance on whether it's good or bad. If someone presented that information in a clear, concise way for me to digest, um, then I'd be comfortable taking a stance on it, but for now, um, it's one of those things where, right now, there's so many things in life that are impacting everyone. You have to pick and choose what you're going to get passionate about. And for me, ULES isn't one of those things.